April 20th, 2023. Marcus Giovanni here. When you understand channeling and what channels mean, not only does it mean like YouTube channel, CBS channel, but it also in the metaverse, it, it goes into channeling where you can actually channel conversations and that's what we're doing now. So everything we do is built off different alerts. And these alerts have already been written a long time ago. Like what you, recordings that you might see were been made years ago, but they're just now being published as if it was today. Brilliant. And so <clears throat> right here, Kelly Bro, Kelly Bra is no super administrator because on city and county of Denver .us, that's the uh, metaverse for Denver and it shows you where their social standings are with their candidates and all the things they talked about I pattern matched it all and just because their IT people tell them don't believe what you see believe what I tell you just like you do with the citizens so they all keep their jobs and everything. But what happens is it, 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 we're at a part, a time now where we're either IOT or dark web. And on February 6, 2023 in courtroom 414, Denver city council district or Denver city, um, court district courts on Bannock street. Judge Luxon, district attorney judge, he, um, he, uh, when I asked about the Spear Amendment, assistant city attorney Horn blasted with glee, if I may, we haven't enforced that law in years. For over 14 years, well, since 2007, actually, when the conversations came up in regards to Karen Huber, Magistrate Huber, Hubler, and Denver Health and Human Service way back in 2007, um, uh, uh, anyways, we indexed it. I indexed it. And when you understand how losers and formers and everything else that for some reason, our young minds of Denver keep voting the same fucking way. And there nobody, and there's a whole half of other population that is bitter and angry. <clears throat> I've, I felt them conversations when I stay, stood outside freezing cold weather in February. Look up the days and the temperatures of those days. And people can't, what, sign their name correctly in uh, seven degree weather? So a lot of this built is built by design and my stuff is definitely built by artificial intelligence. And when you look at former Mayor Wellington Webb, it's amazing. Endorses like he means something and it hurts his feelings, but he's old enough now, he should have known better. <clears throat> but his IT people are the people that advise him because he hasn't stayed on top of of the coming of the metaverse. He just listens to everybody else and obviously it does, it's not working. But when you think about CBS and that whole, oh, I can't even get into it. But they're, they're headed to the dark web. And I'm here to just tell them, I don't want to see them. I don't want to see them go there, but... When you warn them and try to tell them and be nice, if you cuss, if you whatever, whatever you do to try to get their attention, and they're just not paying attention because they've been doing the same thing for fucking sixty years, the same people, and they're about to take Denver down to the darkest pits of the darkest fucking web you can ever imagine. <clears throat> Good news is that's our government. And in two years, that'll change all because either Kelly Bro or uh, Mike Johnston, neither one of them are even capable of understanding the metaverse. I sent them information, and that's what 
and that's what keeps my my content current because they're so fucking stupid that they can't even they can't see the digital metaverse through their bullshit humble bragging Kelly pig bloviator red pig lipstick made four hundred seventy four thousand dollars all off quitting I quit that and got that I quit that and got that and so that's what She's going to deserve a government that's illegitimate. And, it's a, and they laugh. And it's good because we need them to laugh. We need them to come out and send text messages and emails and conspire more and, and, and just laugh it off. But, uh, you know, Mayor Webb, you would think that he'd be more loyal to Mayor Spear, who passed away in office, 100-year flu. And he saw what a partisanship government would do. And see, I never had anybody from the media, academia, smackademia, flackademia, or Hancock media, or the media, or anyone even want to talk about the Spear Amendment. And so on January 17, a couple, an article popped out in an alert we got from Google that said um, January 17 from Colorado Newsline the four schmoes they all got tumors man digital tumors and like they've ruined my life and the citizens life from not telling what's going on in our elections so they're democracy sluts so they shall be treated like such <clears throat> and it's already happening. It's already, but it's going to be a slow bleed. So when they're 50 and they're 60 years old and they look at, like, time went by so fucking quick and nothing ever really changed for them because they won't know and they'll keep battling it. And then they're like, oh, we're not, we're not allowed to put the same <clears throat> newspaper, a writer in five different magazines that are owned by the same company. It's going to come down to that. That's why you see a lot of my stuff. And you don't see any of Kelly's stuff. There's the former Wellington Webb. See, when he endorsed Leslie Herod, <clears throat> I told him all. I told him nicely. I told him vulgar, I mean vulgar, vulgarly. <laughs> that if you're running on gender, the color of your skin, and who you're fucking, it's, it's just not good. If you're an office jumper, like... Penfield Tate, Ann Tafoya, all the office jumpers that ran for one office and decided they're going to run for another office. And you got, got other guys that spent all this money and they lost to women. So women aren't going to be told who to vote for for mayor. And the young people only go with what the bullshit that Kelly and her team are doing and that's okay because I know I wouldn't trust her or nothing or anything these fucking people would say they're all the same Mike Johnston doesn't matter he's the same they're all the same that's why Hancock ain't coming out telling anybody he's, he's, the, he's playing it safe because if you don't say anything they can't do anything mute take a lot throw away the key and forever hold your peace. But look at this, folks. I own 5280 Denver. Met a human man. Colorado politics. City and county of Denver, United States. That's the big powerhouse right there. That's, that was ready for the city summit if I was mayor. But see, on, on January 17, uh, Colorado Newsline came out and said that I didn't have enough. I, I, I did a video of it. I, it's somewhere on the internet. I don't keep track of them. I just do it, post it, say la vie, stick it. <clears throat> but everything's on the beginning. Like All my content is inverted pyramid. Inverted pyramid type information. Pyramid. Inverted pyramid. Sorry, I'm getting tired. <clears throat> but, uh... This is it, but it goes on forever. We got teach two, and you might see some stuff that come up with Colorado politics. 
all the warning signs. These are blockchain people. This years of just indexing, and it's all coming to fruition to tell Kelly that she's outdated. Tell Mike Johnston he's outdated. And that the media that are pushing the lies and, and to continue this bullshit fucking conversation, they're going to pay for it financially. Fox News paid for it. They're no longer the most trusted. They cannot say that. And I, I just flip, was flipping through channels and I heard Sean Hannity bagging on another news station for saying something like, oh, and they say that they... You can believe what they say. What, Hannity? Shut the fuck up. Fuck, man. There's a bunch of dog twats, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this. Calling up future Denver. So when she comes out and talk, I wrote everything that you could. See, they don't see it. See, when they went to the website and started clicking on my stuff, this is what happens. Depending on the authority of the people clicking on my stuff. And my stuff, you don't have to click on it. You just have to search for it. <clears throat> or, if you're coming in from another website and you click on it, you don't have to click on any of the information you see in front of you because it all tells the story of, of Kelly, of what she can't do and, what, and what's about to happen. These are all I own that. Met a human man, met a human man. See, artificial intelligence is crushing her. And so when China and the rest of the world decide they're going to open up the uh, social credit system scores and rankings, and, Dem and the United States is what? And everything changed and what? Yeah, you guys, you know, even our election system in Denver. They're talking about winners, and they didn't even get 25% of the vote. Where can you go and get 25%? Um, that's like approval rating. Neither one of them got it. They got it combined. Like if they, What does that tell you? That nobody's buying their shit. See, if I, 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 I let down some people because they really wanted me to get on the ballot. But they don't know. They don't know. They didn't. These are new people I met. And so I, I promised them, look, we don't even got to worry about it. We just put them, get them pushed back in the hole. So as soon as Hancock leaves and they find out that Mayor Webb's picking the wrong people and they're going to take his, his, his statue out because that whole storyline, it's all, you can pull it all off the web. You know, the, 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 the whole thing of, of, the Leslie Harrod to be the mayor, it would, the, the three H's wasn't going to happen, man. It wasn't going to happen. And Mayor Webb uh, is just surrounded by people that he doesn't like to be told what to do. And because he doesn't know anything about something new, he's not going to try to be forced into learning anything. He's just going to stay on course for what he knows and what works for him. And so, therefore, that makes him outdated. So when he picked Leslie Herod, um, I was getting all the back chatter and it was all bad. It was all bad. <clears throat> and now they're going to come out and say, oh, well, we're doing ranked choice voting backwards. So Webb's person didn't win. Not even close. And now he's going for Kelly. So everybody's, all the losers... All the formers are all jumping on on the same old, same old. The Kelly, oh, look at Kelly, and look at her baby pictures. Oh, Kelly, when she was an infant. Hey, Kelly, let me tell you my story. When I was an infant, I weighed two pounds, three ounces. I was a preemie baby. I was uh, in an orphanage with the Roman Catholic um, charities. Roman Catholic charities. <clears throat> this is old school stuff. And uh, I uh, had a few diseases. And I was pretty much marked for, for just to be, just to die, pretty much, if I, they didn't find me a family. And they did. A really cool family. 
my mom called me his her little care baby because my belly was so big. I was mal now mal malnutritioned and whew, what a mal malnutrition life I've lived. Dif different diseases and stuff. You wouldn't know by looking at me. But when I hear people like Kelly, all she has is her stories about being an infant and all the all these fucking whimsical butterfly hummingbird stories and little heart hand gestures. Oh, Kelly, did you make that up yourself or did you steal it from somebody? Because fuck, that's what she does. She steals everything from everybody when it comes to content. That's why you're. You're seeing all this, seven pages, and there's nothing of Kelly's content. And they'll go, oh, but if you undo all of this stuff and just put Kelly, you won't have any of your stuff there. That's how my stuff's designed. I don't want everybody to know. Because this is organic. This stuff is like the, that China beetle that's going in our cheek, or the China vine. It just slowly creeps and creeps and creeps. And then they all form a chain. See, these are all blocks. These are all block connected. They cannot be broken up. And so no matter how hard her, her media tries, like CBS and all, you know, the CBS, oh man. I wouldn't want to be the, the general sales manager of that. I mean, we know who it is, but I don't want to say his name. But look at this, these are all node connected. To people that are all thinking they're going to fucking do something that they aren't planning to do because they can't. They're all talk. They're going to go and then have their meetings and because uh, they can't think beyond anything, man. I mean, <laughs> oh, mercy. But look at that. That's all. I own this. Denver, Denver City Council District, Denver Municipal Elections. These were all highly advanced algorithms at one time that brought <clears throat> closure to conversations over the years. And everything that we do is pretty self-explanatory in regards to YouTube handles and channels and Google and who you are and what you are and what you say and what you can do. All your life experiences being turned into metadata, using meta tags, and all your experiences <clears throat> get to be put into a meta description. But when you're all talk, when you've never owned a business, but you're telling other people how to run a business, that doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> At least own one business. And own a business that you're talking about, not... I own a plumbing business, but I'm talking about electrician businesses. Do you have a license in it? No, i just been around them a lot. <clears throat> okay. Oh, my God, folks. So, anyways, I I knew this stuff was going to happen, so we ended up getting city and county of Denver.us, which is our portal for all things in North America so that we can sell our products, anything that we manufacture in Denver, we have a place that we have that we can now uh, go right to allowing these other countries to buy direct from our suppliers, our manufacturers, and we start manufacturing again. And so we need to take advantage of what we didn't take advantage over, you know, when interest rates were real low, now we're all going to go borrow money, and we're so far bad right now, folks. I, I can't even tell you. The smartest people in Silicon Mountain have no clue what's coming. They are so outdated and all overpaid and hurts their feelings. Fuck Giovanni. Fuck the independents. Fuck everybody. No, fuck you. And you're about to get a fucking in the digital world that you've never experienced in your fucking life. And I've tried to warn all of you. I even took it to court and spelled it out in my complaint the best I could for a guy with my education level. And Judge Luxon said, fuck you, Giovanni. You know that? Just fuck you. And city attorney and Todd Davidson and whoever you other chick, thank you for coming in.
he didn't say that, but he did thank him for dropping everything at such a short notice. And, and uh, he was indexed, man, <clears throat> by all their cell phones. They don't even know it. I, I put it on there in <laughs> the complaint or in my affidavit, one of the two, just so that when they digitalize it, because you want to be able to take voice and text. And then you've got the GPS and then the cell phone tower and then Bluetooth scan. So everything that Judge Luxon does now, he's now been indexed because he was indexed by me, <clears throat> by all of our cell phones. And so when you, even when the people in the courtroom didn't talk, like there were five people representing our case was 2023CB54 for Paul Lopez. A clerk in the recorder. They had five people three city attorney guys and two other people. One was Todd Davidson. And uh, I knew who he was right from the start. <clears throat> but they didn't say much. So what happens is. Their, their phones pick up their breathing, pick up... This, this is stuff that most people don't know. Um, but it picks up everything. Your movements, your breathing, everything. Everything you're doing, man. Even though that's an... Ad, don't, I won't even get into it. You'll say, well, I don't have an app for that. Okay. You know everything. Don't listen to me. I don't know anything. I'm just taking over all these different conversations so that I'm protecting you from your own ignorance so that when you guys do figure it out, you'll realize that I've created platforms that will create residual income in the billions. And a lot of lost tra treasures are lost because people's inability to comprehend what gold or silver or anything is worth anything and what we're talking about is the metaverse and that's far beyond their pay grades and that's sad it truly is but this is how other countries know and that's how they learn and that's how they gather and then they come in and destroy us first be in the digital world <clears throat> when denver had a chance to control a lot of different assets, a lot of different new metaverse assets that it hasn't done. Like I have, I manage 80. And I was going to parlay them when I'm mayor into the city and county of Denver, but they, they're not interested. They don't want nothing to do with me or the Republicans or the independents or anybody that's not Democrat. And so on court date, when Michelle Horn blasted with glee, we haven't enforced that law in years in regards to the Spear Amendment. That was my gold mine. That was my, the release that I didn't have to fucking worry about it. It took 14 years, I mean, even longer, but let's just say 14. Three, four, four elections, that's 12 years. But you got two years before that. So that's to prepare for the first election, right? And nobody, the media, nobody except me. And honoring a dead man that was a Democrat that knew what a partisanship government would look like. And they destroyed the city beautiful of Denver, man. And so I was representing the dead in this matter. And that is what people don't understand about death is it you got to honor the death man of, of, of a guy that died in office <clears throat> and uh, you know they always bring up Mayor Webb and his wife and she was this girl and that girl as they shit on the tomb of Mayor Webb and his wife so this digital world is very complex but yet it's very simple do the right thing you do the right thing and good things will come your way. I do the right thing and good things come my way, folks. Better than you'd ever imagine. Yeah. So I'm blessed in some things and cursed in others. And it's just the way it is. That's called life. And it's how you deal with it. And what you say and what you do is can now be artificially inseminated into your DNA in the digital world. Isn't that fucking gross?
But this is living proof of it. And the people like Michael Hancock and all his IT people and all those worthless people. They're worthless because they allowed Denver to be taken over. They allowed, they, they ignored laws and only were, I knew it wasn't gonna be mayor, folks. <clears throat> I just needed closure and I got it on February 6th when Michelle Horn said, I, we, don't enfor we haven't enforced that law in years when it's actually been decades. But, and, and we were in the highest air location you could be in, in regards to official indexing, which is a courthouse. So we have GPS, cell phone tower pings, her voice, Bluetooth. And then what happens is this. As we all leave, and as those other voices that were all node connections, because there were two phones silent, right? out of the five phones that were in there, there was only two voices. There were three voices talking out of all the people. And there were two clerks in, the, in there and then two people in the audience. So you would think that would be, wow, hey, what, let's go. This, this is way beyond me, folks. This is all about the people of Denver that control it, that have destroyed my children and destroyed, um, you know, uh, they should have went to college. That's a whole different story, folks. That's Denver Public Schools, which you have that guy, Kiwami Spearman, who took money now. He quit one race and took that war chest to go start another campaign. He needs to give that fucking money back. You hear me, Kiwami? Fucking quitter. You quit, and you're telling people, oh, I got the pulp. I got community services calling me. Give back that fucking money, dude. 